हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैथ्स क्लास इन लास्ट क्लास वी कंप्लीटेड फर्स्ट सिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर 10.3 इन केस इफ यू नॉट वाचड दैट वीडियो एरियर क्लासेस वीडियोस लिंक आई विल गिव इन कार्ड्स इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डू अनदर सिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर 7 टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 12 वी विल कंप्लीट इन दिस क्लास द प्रॉब्लम्स इन डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वेक्टर्स आर वेरी इजी only when you are good in formulas related to dot product of vectors we learn total 15 formulas in this dot product of vectors i made a separate video to learn the formulas related to dot product of vectors that video link is also there in cards if you are good in those 15 formulas this exercise problems are dead easy so please go through all those 15 formulas first before going to start this video please drop a like for this video without much delay let's begin the class you observe this question number 7 what they are asking evaluate dot product of these two vectors okay what to calculate we need to calculate dot product of these two vectors we know that dot product is distributive over vector addition that formula is like this what is this formula this formula tells you that dot product is distributive over vector addition a bar dot b bar plus c bar can be written as a bar dot b bar plus a bar dot c bar i'll use this formula to simplify this if i explain by this method you may confuse so simple thing is you just do like a normal multiplication but actually it is not normal multiplication we are doing dot product of these two vectors multiply like a normal multiplication take first this vector multiply with the both the terms of this vector what you will get this is 3a bar dot 2a bar plus 3a bar dot 7b bar okay you take this term and multiply with both the terms of this then what you will get you will get like this minus of plus is minus 5b bar dot 2a bar minus of plus is minus 5b bar dot 7b bar just like a normal multiplication but actually it is not normal multiplication we applied this formula 3a bar dot 2a bar you learn this formula from those 15 formulas m a bar dot n b bar this can be written as m n times of a bar dot b bar right so what this will be 3 into 2 that is 6 times of a bar dot a bar okay plus here what this can be written as as per this formula this can be written as 3 into 7 that is 21 times of a bar dot b bar okay minus 5 into 2 10 times of b bar dot a bar minus 7 phi sir 35 35 times of b bar dot b bar i hope you are understand okay this equal to 6 times of a bar dot a bar formula is magnitude of a bar whole square you learned 15 formulas na in those 15 formulas this formula is there a bar dot a bar is magnitude of a bar whole square okay plus 21 times of a bar dot b bar minus you observe here we know this formula b bar dot a bar can be written as a bar dot b bar so this is 10 times of a bar dot b bar minus 35 times of b bar dot b bar formula is what b bar dot b bar is modulus of b bar whole square so this is magnitude of b bar whole square okay if i simplify this what i'll get i'll get like this 6 times of modulus of a bar whole square plus here this is a bar dot b bar this is also a bar dot b bar 21 minus 10 that is 11 so plus 11 times of a bar dot b bar minus 35 times of modulus of b bar whole square so as they are asking to evaluate this product so the dot product of these two vectors is this i hope you understand this solution you observe this question number 8 what they are asking find the magnitudes of two vectors a bar and b bar 
find the magnitudes of the vectors a bar and b bar means we need to calculate magnitude of a bar as well as magnitude of b bar we need to calculate magnitudes of these two vectors for that what information they given these two vectors are having same magnitude i'll write the given information also what they given they given that they are having same magnitude that means magnitude of a bar is same as magnitude of b bar this information they given and angle between them is 60 degrees if i suppose theta is the angle between them they given theta is 60 degrees we know that dot product is also known as scalar product that means what they given they given that a bar dot b bar is 1 by 2 they given this information magnitude of a bar equal to magnitude of b bar they given angle between them is 60 degrees and they given that their dot product is 1 by 2 we need to calculate magnitude of a bar as well as magnitude of b bar you know this formula this is the formula we got from the definition of dot product of vectors a bar dot b bar can be written as magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into cos theta okay here to calculate magnitude of a bar magnitude of b bar i'll substitute the given information in this a bar dot b bar they given it as 1 by 2 okay right magnitude of a bar i'll write as it is magnitude of b bar is same as magnitude of a bar so in place of magnitude of b bar i'll write magnitude of a bar into cos theta theta means 60 degrees here okay i written like this now 1 by 2 equal to magnitude of a bar into magnitude of a bar is what magnitude of a bar whole square into cos 60 degrees what is the value of cos 60 degrees we know in trigonometry cos 60 degrees value is 1 by 2 this 1 by 2 1 by 2 will get cancelled so what you got here you got that 1 equal to magnitude of a bar whole square so from this what is magnitude of a bar magnitude of a bar is plus or minus 1 but we won't consider minus 1 here why magnitude means it's a length of the vector it is always positive so we will take magnitude of a bar as plus 1 only so magnitude of a bar is plus 1 what is magnitude of b bar you see in the question only they given magnitude of a bar is same as magnitude of b bar as you got magnitude of a bar is 1 magnitude of b bar also same because we know that in the question they given magnitude of a bar is same as magnitude of b bar so magnitude of a bar value is 1 magnitude of b bar value also 1 i hope you understand this problem now we will move to next problem you observe this question number 9 what they are asking find magnitude of x bar in the beginning only they given what is to be calculated magnitude of x bar if for a unit vector a bar see here for a unit vector a bar that means this statement tells you that a bar is a unit vector if a bar is a unit vector what you know you know that its magnitude is 1 and they given this data also what is this x bar minus a bar dot x bar plus a bar is 12 they given this data and they given modulus of a bar is 1 we need to calculate magnitude of x bar see we learned this formula from 15 formulas a bar plus b bar dot a bar minus b bar is magnitude of a bar square minus magnitude of b bar square you can apply this formula to this then what this will become this will become magnitude of x bar whole square minus magnitude of a bar whole square equal to 12 here you know magnitude of a bar see they given in the question only magnitude of a bar is 1 so i'll write that magnitude of x bar whole square magnitude of a bar is 1 1 square is what 1 square is 1 only that equal to 12 so from this magnitude of x bar whole square is what you take minus 1 to this side 12 plus 1 is what 12 plus 1 is 13 here you got magnitude of x bar whole square as 13 from this what is magnitude of x bar you apply square root to this on both sides okay so what you will get this side magnitude of x equal to by mistake there is a chance you may write plus or minus root 13 but this is magnitude of a vector magnitude of a vector means length of a vector that is always positive so modulus of x bar whole square is 13 from this modulus of x bar is root 13 magnitude of x bar is root 13 what they are asking in the question they are asking magnitude of x bar only we got magnitude of x bar is root 13 these are very easy problems only the thing is you need to turn with all the formulas you observe this question number 10 what they given a bar b bar c bar three vectors given are three vectors such that a bar plus lambda b bar is perpendicular to c bar they are saying that the vector a bar plus lambda b bar is perpendicular to c bar then find the value of lambda okay first i'll write the given vectors you observe i taken given vectors a bar b bar c bar now i'll calculate 
द वेक्टर ए बार प्लस लैमडा बी बार सो फर्स्ट हियर आई विल कैलकुलेट लैमडा बी बार एज लैमडा इज स्केलर वॉट इज लैमडा बी बार यू मल्टीप्लाई ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस वेक्टर विथ लैमडा ओके वॉट यू विल गेट दिस इज माइनस लैमडा आई कैप प्लस टू लैमडा जे कैप प्लस लैमडा के कैप वॉट इज दिस दिस इज लैमडा बी बार What you need? You need a bar plus lambda b bar. Okay, I'll write a bar plus lambda b bar. Okay. You observe this is a bar. This is lambda b bar. Na when we add these two things, you can take i cap common. Then what you will get? You will get two minus lambda into i cap plus. You observe here two plus two lambda. Two plus two lambda into j cap plus. You observe these two. You add these two. What you will get? 3 plus lambda into k cap. When you add these two vectors, you will get like this. Okay. Now in the question only they given that a bar plus lambda b bar is perpendicular to c bar. As they given a bar plus lambda b bar c bar are perpendicular. What you know? You know that their dot product is zero. So a bar plus lambda b bar dot c bar equal to zero. Dot product of a bar plus lambda b bar comma c bar. What is the formula? A one b one plus a two b two plus a three b three. That means what you will get here? Two minus lambda into three. Two minus lambda into three plus two plus two lambda into one into one plus three plus lambda. Here k cap coefficient is three plus lambda. Here k cap term is not there. So what you will write? Three plus lambda into zero. Equal to zero. What I want to find? You see the question. What they are asking? Find the value of lambda. I need to calculate lambda. You see here. If I simplify this, I will get the value of lambda. Multiply with three. What you will get? Three two sir. Six minus lambda into three is three lambda plus two plus two lambda into one is two plus two lambda only. Plus you observe this whole term. Three plus lambda into zero is zero. So equal to zero. See here minus three lambda plus two lambda. That is minus lambda plus six plus two is eight equal to zero. From this we can write lambda. You take minus lambda to that side. What you will get? Lambda equal to eight. What they are asking in the question? They are asking to find the value of lambda. We got that lambda value is eight. Easy problem, right? Now we'll move to next question. You observe this question number eleven. What they are asking? Show that. This is one vector. This vector is perpendicular to this vector. Here they mentioned in the question a bar comma b bar are two non-zero vectors. We need to prove that this vector, this vector are perpendicular. To prove two vectors are perpendicular, what formula we have? We'll prove that their dot product is zero. Here to show these two vectors are perpendicular, what I'll do? I'll calculate their dot product. If answer is zero, then I can say that they are perpendicular to each other. You observe, I consider given two vectors and I am calculating their dot product. In dot product of vectors, you learn this formula: a bar plus b bar dot a bar minus b bar. What is dot product of these two vectors? Dot product of these two vectors is magnitude of a bar whole square minus magnitude of b bar whole square. You observe here, what is this? Modulus of a bar into b bar. What vector is there? Same vector is present here. You can observe magnitude of a bar into b bar, magnitude of a bar into b bar. Okay. Now you look this. What vector is there? Same vector present here. Magnitude of b bar into a bar, magnitude of b bar into a bar. So this formula we can apply to this. This is like a bar plus b bar dot a bar minus b bar. As per this formula, what I can write? Magnitude of a bar square minus magnitude of b bar square is there. So as per this formula, this can be written as magnitude of magnitude of a bar into b bar whole square minus magnitude of magnitude of b bar into a bar whole square. I hope you understand this step. You know this formula. Magnitude of m a bar is what m into magnitude of a bar. Here, this is like m. This is scalar, na? This is scalar. This is like m. This is what? This is nothing but magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar. Here, whole square is there, na? That whole square I'll write. I hope you are understanding. See, magnitude of m b bar is what? M into magnitude of b bar. Here, whole square is there, na? That's why I written like this. Minus. This is also like magnitude of m a bar. 
this is m this is scalar magnitude of m a bar is what m into magnitude of a bar na? so this can be written as magnitude of b bar into magnitude of a bar here whole square is there na? that whole square i'll write here okay so what this will become this is magnitude of a bar whole square into magnitude of b bar whole square minus simplify this what this will become magnitude of b bar whole square into magnitude of a bar whole square both are scalars so this can be written as magnitude of a bar square into magnitude of b bar square you observe this this expression is same as this both are having opposite sign so they'll get cancelled you will get zero so what happened when when i calculate dot product of given two vectors i got answer zero so what is the conclusion i can say that given vectors are perpendicular so the given two vectors are perpendicular i hope you understand this now we'll move to next question you observe this is the last question for this class if a bar dot a bar is zero and a bar dot b bar is zero these two information they given in the question what they are asking then what can you conclude about the vector b bar you observe this is the given information they given that a bar dot a bar is zero and a bar dot b bar is zero we know the formula what is the formula for a bar dot a bar the formula for a bar dot a bar is magnitude of a bar whole square magnitude of a bar whole square is zero from this what is magnitude of a bar you apply square root on both sides what you will get magnitude of a bar is zero this tells you that a bar is a zero vector here i came to know that a bar is a zero vector now this information also given a bar dot b bar is zero so what is the formula for a bar dot b bar magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into cos theta equal to zero here as i know magnitude of a bar is zero when i write magnitude of a bar as zero whatever the things we will get here whatever the things we will get here this full product will be zero this total product will be zero as i got magnitude of a bar is zero in place of magnitude of a bar if i write zero whatever the vector b bar whatever the vector b bar this total expression will become zero na? so here what they are asking what can you conclude about the vector b bar what we will conclude you take b bar as any vector you take b bar as zero vector or non zero vector whatever the vector you want you take b bar as magnitude of a bar is zero irrespective of b bar this product will be zero so a bar dot a bar equal to zero and a bar dot b bar equal to zero these two things holds good for any vector b bar you take b bar as any vector for any vector b bar both the results holds good I hope you understand this class. Whatever the exercise problems we are doing in this, they are all very easy when you are good in all the 15 formulas that what we learn in theory part related to dot product of vector. If you are thorough in those 15 formulas which are related to dot product of vectors, then you can do these problems very easily. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends so that they also will get benefit. In case, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.